temporalis muscle has a broad attachment here on the side of the skull. You can see that the muscle itself is a good sized muscle, even though it's flat. It then becomes a tendon, tucks under the zygomatic arch, which is your cheekbone, and then it inserts into this process, which is called the coronoid process, and that's part of the lower jaw of the mandible. The muscle, therefore, when it contracts, will pull upwards and it will close the jaw. We'll now look at the triggers, and in fact, there are four sets of triggers. The first is right in the front of the muscle here, and this will refer pain in two places. The first up here, around the trigger and forward into the temple. This is the interesting bit. It also refers pain down into the teeth at the front. The second trigger is slightly further back, this, and it refers pain up into this area here and into these teeth. The third trigger, which is further back, here, will refer pain into the back teeth. Like that, you may also get pain coming up the top. And finally, the last trigger, which is towards the back, just gives you pain around it. So you get this fascinating referral pattern of pain up into the temporal area and down into teeth.